Yo, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate it. I want to go ahead and bring you all a video on After Ink Premium Liquid Solidifier, as you can see right here. Now, this stuff is amazing. I highly recommend that you pick this stuff up. I use this stuff continuously after like my practice sessions, after real sessions. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all a little bit about it. So if you're not familiar with what this is, I'll go ahead and try and touch base on what it does and the point of it. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate it real time for you all right here as well. So the name is pretty straightforward. As you can see, it's After Ink Premium Liquid Solidifier. What it is, is basically it's a mixture of some chemicals in here, as you can see. And these work together in unison to solidify this here liquid. So this is a practice cup that I use uh, when I was practicing to rinse off my needles. Let's say, for example, this was a cup that was contaminated. This was a rinse cup that I used on a real session upon tattooing a human. I would want to use something like this to solidify the liquid prior to throwing it away. I want to go ahead and show you all here the packaging and what it is. You can go ahead and press stop at any point. I'm going to go ahead and just turn the bottle so you all can see everything on the bottle. And again, I highly recommend that you go and pick this up. But this is the bottle. As you can see, it's very, very straightforward. It's called After Ink premium liquid solidifier i will go ahead and leave the link in the description below for you so you can go ahead and pick a bottle up for yourself Actually, let me show the bottle a little bit more up here this is what these powder is inside as you can see right there it's pretty cool stuff now the idea for this is again is to solidify your liquid so that way when you dispose of it, uh, when you throw it away, you're doing it correctly, making sure that whatever may have been in there, uh, pathogens, diseases, viruses, whatever the case may have been, to make sure that that is all properly eliminated so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and break down the process in which I take to go ahead and do that. This is a cup now that's contaminated that has been used in a tattoo session from a complete stranger that I don't know. I use my cup to rinse off the needle. Okay, so that's the approach that we're gonna have. We have gloves on, we have the bottle here, we're starting fresh, fresh pair of gloves, fresh bottle, we haven't touched anything. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a napkin and I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the little bit. Unscrew the lid a little bit and you wanna be careful because the powder uh, gets in the air. You don't wanna get this in your eyes or you don't wanna inhale it or even get it on your hands. So. You see the liquid right here? I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can bring it up to the camera up close. I'm gonna go ahead and put some solidifier in there and then, or some solidifier in there and then we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. Can you see it going to work there? It's literally solidifying the liquid. I didn't use too, too much. I don't know if I should use any more because there's still some powder in the middle. So I'm assuming I put more than enough. Go ahead and hit it down a little bit. As you can see, it's the liquid that was in here is now completely solidified. Like it's not moving, it's not coming out, it doesn't spill. I don't necessarily want to tip it over and pour it over because there's powder right there. So I may have poured a little bit too much and I don't want to get that anywhere. So let's go ahead and pretend that this is the contaminated cup again, and we solidify the liquid. That's good, that's great. However, the contents, let's say if it was contaminated with pathogens or something like that, that is still alive in there. So what you can do is you can go ahead and before putting it into the trash, you can go ahead and get like some cave aside or a chemical that is designed to disinfect and eliminate all of the above, so to speak. So you can go ahead and do that. That would be the best approach. So let's say, and this, I don't have a cave aside on hand. I do have a bottle coming in and which I will do a full review on for you all as well. Um, I do have super sandy cloth wipes. However, that's not gonna do for this. You don't wanna drop wipes in there. So what you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and pick up something like, I have this right here, uh, EnviroCleans right now, or EnviroCleanse. 
uh, as you can see right there. And as you can see, it's targeting what we would want to remove or some of that of the above. And again, this is for demonstration. The ideal ingredient that you would want to use to pour into this cup would be something along the lines of caveside. Something like that is going to do just fine to eliminate anything that may exist in there. So again, you can go ahead and use something like this. You can go ahead and simply just pour it in there a little bit. You don't want to do it too much. Just to make sure that everything gets saturated. And you would want to go ahead and just let that sit prior to throwing it into the trash. I think I put more than enough. I put a little bit extra just to be sure. Now before I actually close out this video here, I wanted to go ahead and just bring the cup up close so that way you guys can see what it looks like, how the ink or how this has solidified my liquid. And this right here was witch hazel originally. So we put witch hazel. This will work with water. I don't believe it'll work with pure alcohol if I'm correct. We can go ahead and try that out as well right now. Um, but there you guys see it right there up close and personal. It did solidify the liquid. It does not move. I don't want to put my finger in there as I will be touching other things here. But I could use a popsicle stick that I have right here. So as you all can see, everything all the way through is solidified all the way through. It's like some sort of gel-like gelatin. I'm not sure what that is, but as you can see, everything is solidified all the way through. There is no wet marks. I can feel that it's solidified all the way through. Now, again, this was witch hazel. I believe this is going to work with witch hazel, water, uh, which are pretty essential to using when you're tattooing. You can go ahead and use those and do what you need to do just fine. Let's go ahead and see if, let's use this old cup here. And this is just a practice station that I was using to practice a little while ago. So let's pour in some alcohol. And this is going to be 91% alcohol. As you can see right here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is the same thing. We're just going to repeat the process and pour some in here. We're going to go ahead and see if this solidifies alcohol. Doesn't look as though it's going to. As you can see, it's kind of just blending in there and falling to the bottom. It's separating from the alcohol itself. So again, it does not solidify alcohol, which is fine. Um, alcohol, I pretty much use that. Like I'll just go ahead and use a cup of alcohol with a little bit at the bottom. So I can go ahead and just drop my cartridges in there so that way they don't dry out and they can sit in alcohol, like the tip of the needles basically. So that's just fine. That can always be like, um, at the end of the session, I can get a napkin like this. And then what I can do is kind of crumple it up right here and then just press it down and let the napkin absorb as you can see, and then repeat the process in which we get our cave aside. In this case, I'm just using this to demonstrate, which is gonna do the same thing that we want it to do. And you can go ahead and pour it into, onto the napkin up here like so. And just let them sit like that for a few minutes. Um, however, I guess the kill time, uh, every chemical has different kill time. So you'd wanna let it sit accordingly. And that's the idea behind it. Just that's how I would handle the alcohol, um, absorb it with a napkin, and then uh, put the chemicals into the it's napkin. It's that easy. You just have to make sure that the ingredients, the chemicals that you're inputting after you solidify the liquid is doing what you need it to do, which is to remove any potential pathogens or uh, viruses, bacteria, whatever the case may be that may exist within here. So that is the idea behind it. Um, I do highly recommend that you pick up a bottle of the After Ink Liquid Solidifier. Uh, yes, definitely pick up a bottle. The link will be in the description below. Uh, it's very, very straightforward, so I don't know what else to touch base on in this video. However, if I didn't touch base on something specific that you may have wanted to know, by all means, please feel free to drop it in the comments down below, and I'll go ahead and do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. Uh, if you're not, be sure to go ahead and give me a follow on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under Daniel Yuck, D-A-N-I-E-L-Y-U-C-K, all across all the social medias as well. I appreciate you tuning in. I would genuinely appreciate it as well if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell as I will be bringing you more videos like this. Thank you yet again. I appreciate it. Have a great day.